hope so. Are we going live? Hmm. It says it's live, but I don't see it, to tell you the truth. Uh, so we're going to hold off until we get confirmation from chat that we are live. Because Twitch is thinking. And there's four people. I'm assuming we're live because I see people popping in. Uh, gang, if we are live, Graham, you look <laughs> you look live to me. Okay, sweet. That's good. I can't get the Twitch uh, to show the video actually to get confirmation. So that's fantastic. Uh, if anything goes down, uh, if the live stream lags or anything, please let me know during the chat. And what is today? Today is July 31st, uh, 2020, and we're doing an unscheduled live stream. And we're going to give people about uh, five minutes or so to roll into the chat, uh, roll into the live stream before I start going through these things, because I know there's a few people that... Uh, uh, are looking forward to this. How are you doing, Graham? I hope, you have, I hope you're having a fantastic morning. Um, by the way, Graham, in my area, uh, they said that schools are good to go, right? So they're going to open up schools in the fall, right? And in BC, they're saying kids can go to school without masks. In Ontario, they're saying the kids have to wear masks. And I agree with the no mask thing in British Columbia, right? Because it's traumatizing for the kids, I think. And that's what the government in British Columbia is really addressing. They're basically saying that we're leaving it to individuals to decide how to deal with this, right? So we are live. People are popping in. Coolio, hey, just in time for my lunch break. Awesome, awesome. We'll try to get to the comic book halls, Speedy Gonzalez style. Ripper, good morning. How are you doing? Doing well. I sort of bookmarked a whole bunch of tabs to uh, to give you guys the info of what we ended up uh, grabbing. Um, so excited, Spider-Man says. America reopening school is going to be disastrous. America reopening school is going to be disastrous. Yes. Mick, how are you doing? Yes, yes, yes. I made it to the start of a stream. Unbelievable senses. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good, good. Ditto. Uh, boxers or briefs today? hilarious he's asking coolio though river is asking coolio ding bobber in ontario grace four to eight masks are mandatory under grade four it is recommended but not required yeah it's going to be traumatizing for grade like grade four to eight i don't know man i don't know grant chicho i'm of uh, two minds with masks in schools canada is different i feel canada is different by the way what's happening here is it's contained it, it's bare minimum right like we don't have an outbreak all over the place so canada is very much different so it is what it is mark metals how are you doing what what hey buddy how's it going man how's it going you're gonna like what we got you're gonna like what we got it, it's all over the place what we ended up getting okay let's go let's do this i work in school district i am not overly excited about the risk uh, ne uh nemo I agree with you. If I was in the United States, I'd be a little concerned, right? Well, I would be concerned, period. But in Canada right now, I'm most of my students I'm working with right now, we're doing it online. But I do have a couple of students that I'm seeing in person, and I'm okay with it, right? Like one of the kids is going to summer camp and being exposed to a lot of people and stuff like this. But in Canada, it's different. Our numbers are non-existent compared to the united states okay hey brother let's find out how are you doing hey brother i'll be watching this later tonight i'm uh i'm busy hurricane prepping at the wall oh, you guys are getting hurricane right now where are you at is it hurricane season already i guess so we're coming into august yeah so you're close to the uh what do you call it the gulf of uh mexico in the southern states yeah uh, Nemo, private schools are opening before us, so it's possible everything will shut down before public can even resume. I'm in Texas where numbers are literally out of control. Yeah, if I was in the States, I'd, I'd be concerned. 
right not only that but if the kids get COVID, they most likely won't notice symptoms and they'll spread it to their parents their teachers other kids very bad coolio says ripper chicho i envision children pulling their masks down to sneeze and cough not for intentional uh, uh detrimental purposes but because they're, they're kids they're kids man getting kids to wear masks and kids do what kids do hurricane stay safe brother yeah for sure stay safe uh let's find out southeast florida yeah yikes 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 watch out for the surges watch out for the surges i hope you're not near water uh mick feel lucky sometimes living in the uk in terms of natural disasters the only real disaster i've ever gone through is seeing the pub being closed <laughs> that's funny <laughs> thanks everyone let's find out says okay gang let's do comic book haul we got choices okay we got modern age we got bronze age we have uh we got modern age independent and modern age one of the big two um uh, bronze age uh what yeah bronze age we have uh silver age and we got golden age and we have a cgc sign that i ended up grabbing okay what do you guys want to start with you let me know we go there uh grab chicho but i have uh great news as well we had a long conversation about decentralization in my academy sounds like everyone is on board to pull power from central government and help our community take control for our own learning awesome we are even planning to build a community resource center yes hopefully our ideas will spread further and further graham fantastic fantastic and i think this is what's going to come about right people are sick and tired of centralized control freedom independence right to become anti-fragile bronze i don't know what the polls are but i love bronze batman okay it's not a batman though I'm excited for modern age Chicho Hall as uh, we don't see modern too often. We don't see modern too often. I've, I go all over the place. CGC sign or no, Indies. <laughs> We're all over the place with the request. Just read that in the Discord. Super excited. Hey Chicho, I'm busy uh, prepping. Welcome, Jacoby, by the way. And welcome everybody right uh hey chicho elder god i'm busy prepping my lyrics so many songs with the word <laughs> mask in the lyrics is that what you're going with elder god by the way gang tonight at 8 p.m we're doing a live stream lyrics uh, uh again okay so this is lyrics music lyrics live stream number three that we're going to be doing so prep your lyrics i'm going to prep mine today uh, i already know what i'm going with oldest to newest oldest to newest mark says that is a that is a pattern which we can do which is perfect Ram, that's awesome do that, that, that just commented in discord regarding uh dominoes do you know how to play yeah yeah i've played nikki there's a few different variations of it dominoes are fantastic i didn't expect batman haha <laughs> i just wanted to see what else is out there besides batman um because that's mostly what i collect as a child okay nemo i actually have batman as well but it's not bronze batman <clears throat> okay gang should we do what mark says go from the oldest to newest go go from gold silver bronze modern should we do that i think that's a good pattern to go now the halls are I got one haul deal. Nikki says deal. Let's do it. Okay. I got two boxes from two different buyers. Okay. Ended up paying for shipping. Had to do it. Okay. And I bought a bunch of comics from the local seller that we have. So before we do unboxing, let's do, let me show you the, actually that one is let me open this up because i have the tabs open right now let me make sure uh we got because that one i believe is silver age so i want to make sure i don't yeah that one is right at beginning silver age so let's go oh i close off my ebay purchase thing let me open up my ebay purchase thing 
purchases. So we're gonna go with this box first. Okay, I hope this is the box. It should be. This is gold. Uh, so we're gonna sort of do most likely it's gonna be uh gold just tapping into the silver age as well okay so let me open up these tabs so i have them uh boom and i had all the tabs open but the computer was wasn't liking all the tabs open so i'm just cracking these open that way so one of these books is 1956 one of them is 1959 so silver age. so so silver gold age and another one 1956 okay so we're talk, talking silver gold i have one that's gold age but it's in another hall you will put these guys up too we got do it this way so we're going to go through uh romance books and western books right now okay so let me open up the tabs for the western books Da -da 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 -da. Shoop. and 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 but <laughs> check this out one of these ones i'm ridiculously happy to get my hands on i can't even find it on my comic shop um, so and it's it's a canadian edition of an american uh comic okay so let me show you this one first okay so this is let me make sure i got the thing down good morning chicho lesquilio good morning sorry if i wasn't uh reading the chat but uh, uh i was trying to get the tabs open ripper chicho at what point do you think the current modern age beginning 1992 will finally be cut off and be given its own non-modern uh, designation ripper i think it should have been done a while ago i think modern age from 1992 should have gone to some people are saying to the beginning of uh, where the movies really kicked in with the first x-men i think it should be later than that but i sh i think 1992 should be to a certain degree to the early 2010s where when there was a huge resurgence of uh independent comics maybe some of the pinnacle moments maybe the walking dead starting off maybe saga starting off maybe the valiant comics relaunch kicking in maybe an, an important date uh where there was a shift happening in the comic book media okay mark metal 2012 i agree to a certain degree 2012 is when valiant did a relaunch and they hit the scenes again right and a lot of people there's a lot of motion movement happening during that period right so that's my take as well check this out this is let me open up my let me tell you how much i ended up buying this baby for let me tell you what i ended up buying this baby for and i'm going to show it to you i gotta scroll down a little bit i ended up paying eight dollars and fifty cents canadian for western thrills 1933 check this out and i gotta put this in a uh, in a golden age comic thing but uh, backing board because this is sticking out right so these are comics that i picked up in the last month basically month and a half okay this is western thrills number 33 okay now you can't if you do western thrills number 33 on my comic shop you won't find it if you do western thrills on most uh databases for uh for comic books you won't find this right and the title of this the ebay listing was western thrills number 33 and then it said number one bell features 1950 canadian edition in good uh condition okay now this comic is actually a reprint of red warrior number one okay that came out in 1951 now the listing for this it says it was 1950 
but the cover is the same as red warrior number one that came out in 1951 okay and the people that worked on this book okay the cover is tom gill and tom gill he did a lot of lone ranger comic books and a lot of western comic books uh for dell comics and whatnot right and it uh, there's a story by jo uh, george tusca in this and george tusca is, is big he's been around uh for a long time he did a lot of stuff for crime does not pay he worked on iron man and whatnot right he was one of the big creators for coming out of the golden age of comic books okay and we ended up picking up this thing for 850 canadian in u.s terms is 632 us and it's a fantastic deal fantastic deal and tom gill did you know the cover and most of the stories with one story being done by uh, george uh, tusca okay Ripper, I agree. The resurgence of indie plus the era of movies should have begun its own generation. Agreed 100%. What's the Indica say? The Indica says replacing replacing treasured boys adventures, right? So if we do a search for treasured boys, I don't, like I couldn't find it here. Treasured boys on my comic shop. Let me punch this and see if it appears. I remember looking for it, but it didn't treasured boys Boop. yeah you, you can't find it it's uh, it's impossible well it's not impossible i'm pretty sure it's there somewhere <laughs> but it's basically marvel atlas right or what marvel turned to be right so it's atlas comics but marvel right fantastic Fanta like you i couldn't even find this on ebay uh so this is the only copy that i could get my hands that i saw being listed right and i was expecting this to go a lot higher okay so that's a great deal and by the way let me let you guys know about this uh this comic book haul is partially fi fu uh, funded by zare zare contributed some funds to do a comic book haul so what i ended up doing is taking those funds and topping it up a bit and grabbing this so a huge thank you for zare for kick-starting this comic book haul to a certain degree i had already bought a little bit and then when zare's funds came in i went okay tuk, 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 and i topped it up even more and i just went with it okay awesome has to be on the reading list elder god says <laughs> are we gonna put this on possibly possibly why not so that's one of the golden age 1950 this is the oldest one that we have in this hall okay so i'm going from oldest to earliest to a certain degree in comic in the different halls okay. let me show you this one this one is let me hold it up for you wyatt herb number 20 okay let me close off these tabs Wyatt Earp 1920 and this came out in 1958 okay and the cover for this is John done by Joe Manley the script is by Stan Lee all the stories in this and all the inside artwork is done by Dick Ayers both the pencils and the inks right and Dick Ayers we've talked about a lot huge 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 and Joe Manley let me I just went to I didn't know Joe Manley and I went to the wiki page you know sorry about wiki but it is the quick way to get uh, uh, to get this Zara you showed up cheers boys just want to stop in and say hi I'll catch the rest later awesome Zara <laughs> thanks for funding partially funding this uh, this all fantastic fantastic now check out what who joe manley is he did the cover it was beautiful cover by the way take a look at this let me make sure i got this in the frame right so you guys can see it well right take a look at that it's a beautiful cover very very western very nicely laid out my pleasure man i have faith in chicho's selection <laughs> <laughs> nice now check this out this is what uh, 
Now, this Joe Manley, he died. I looked him up. The reason I didn't know about him, I guess, because he passed away in 1958 when he was 32 years old, right? And he passed away in a commuter train accident. But here's what uh, Stan Lee has been quoted as saying about Manley. So this is quoting Stan Lee right and he had a he had a role to play uh he did black knight uh ringo kid uh yellow claw and jimmy woo i don't i know yellow claw i don't know jimmy woo and ringo kid for sure but here's what stan lee um i'll read you the whole thing uh the second paragraph in this wiki wiki page for him right manly worked at atlas comic with steve ditko and john john romita senior writer editor stan lee commented that quote now quoting stanley joe manley to me would have been the next jack kirby he also could draw anything make anything look exciting and i actually think he was even faster than jack end quote wow really how unfortunate that he passed away at 32 years old right how unfortunate right and it's beautiful like look at that right very nice cover right. look at the face this is like beautiful right great facial expression right and what's the cover say marshall you can't give him a gun not him oh he's letting him out he needs help that mob will break in here anytime grizzly I can't let let him stay without a chance. So they're coming in to lynch this guy, I guess, right? Guns roar in tombstone. Right? Very nice. And we ended up picking up this baby. How much did we pay for this guy? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We ended up picking this guy for 1250 Canadian and it's graded at very good plus right and this seller's grading is fair sometimes i would lower grade it lower and sometimes i would say he's okay with it right and it basically 1250 canadian is 930 us okay which is a really good price it was a good price uh it was a good buy okay by the way thank you for the follows thank you for the subs i I'm sorry if I'm not catching them. I'm sort of flipping between the between uh, the the tabs and the chat. Uncharted Ace, how are you doing? Love your comic streams. Love them as well. Love them as well. Okay, gang, let's crack this open. This again is Gold and Silver Age, right at the beginning of the Silver Age and uh, Golden Age. So mid mid 1950s what a steal mark metals it was it was a good price <laughs> it was a good price i don't know how much it goes for uh online uh well, usually when i do the buys i do price checking on multiple sites to see what my maximum will be uh, and then i tend to forget what they are did a good job right put it in this and put it in this so fantastic let's put this guy away yes comic book hall live stream great to see you this friday chicho the eddie g how are you doing hope you're doing well i was crazy excited i was waiting actually for this package to arrive shipping is going crazy slow uh crazy slow ripper says i love gem uh gem gemini mailers so good these things they're expensive to buy individually though so there's three comic books in here okay these are romance comics a 
expensive, this package. These three cost more than everything else. Had to be done. It had to be done, and I'll tell you why. It's gold and late silver, or early silver. Late gold, early silver. Uh, romance books. Oh, beautiful cover. Look at this, look at this. Nice. I'm so glad I got into collecting romance comics. Gang, really so happy that I got into collecting romance comics. Very expensive to buy individually, uh, Ripper. Yeah, really only worth it if you, you're you a comic shop buying a mega bulk. Yeah, I was trying to get some to, you know, use them for shipping, but and check this out. The guys put them in... Uh, uh, nice brand new bags okay let me show you these individually <laughs> oh they look great oh yeah look at this oh i'm gonna show this to you guys wow he lowballed the grades on these man oh this one's got a little bit of rip and stuff that's okay okay let me show you these let me show you these let me tell you what these are cool 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 let's go let's go okay Let's go. Okay, we're gonna close Wyatt Herb. Joe Manley closed. Check this out. And it's hard to find out who some of these people are that worked on these things. Okay, really, it, it becomes difficult. Uh, let me go with. Oh, it doesn't have that. Oh, I bookmarked this. I lost. Okay, cool. Let me bring up the the seller page. Uh, the auction page okay so this book and these three books together ended up costing 138.50 canadian okay all three of them together right so it comes out to 103 dollars us right so about 33 bucks a pop okay so 100 103 dollars us now the shipping and I ended up paying taxes on this as well okay uh, view order details so it ended up costing me seven dollars in taxes eBay's charging taxes now which is real pain in the ass and the shipping was like twelve dollars right so it ended up costing about hundred and sixty dollars Canadian right and let's go through these one at a time one at a time let's do this one I want to make sure so we got true love tales number 23 okay and the seller graded this at five point at uh, three point five okay true love tales let me make sure I got this in frame so you guys see it it's very presentable I would like just on the cover I would say this is this would be a minimum five just with the cover right True love tales, number 33. Two loves have I, the lady says, right? And this is uh, the truth about, so the the work in this, the, one of the stories is the truth about Nora by Vince Coletta, and Vince Coletta is huge. Forever is a long time by Al Hartley, happiness ahead another story once in a lifetime another story and two loves have i is another story and these other three stories i couldn't figure out who the the artist was okay that looks it really the cover of this looks beautiful beautiful like 3.5 man this would be a 5.5 right five at least presents beautifully beautifully right looks at least six yeah really i wasn't expecting it to look this beautiful and mylar makes it looks nice when you put it in bags and stuff <laughs> nice buy 
<laughs> nice spot. That's crazy. They're uh, spaced apart. I didn't measure. But, okay, I don't know what that, that one refers to. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. I love it. I love it. Look at her. Two loves have I. Two loves have I. Mylar is like giving that serious glare, right? And like, I've been trying to use uh, my, uh, what do you call it? Comic book database, uh, comic book, uh, grand comics database to find more info on this. And it is difficult. Like I can't find it, right? And it doesn't have, I didn't go to CGC because my comic shop, it doesn't look like there's CGC uh, grades on this, but my comic shop isn't. Uh, all of it right you know sometimes they don't have all the data doesn't look like any water damage or anything no i don't think this has any water damage no water damage there's one of these that i believe has a little bit of water damage so that's one of them okay these remember these three books together cost a fair bit okay so that's one let me give you the other one let me show you what the other one is da -da 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 -da. Da -da. Let's do let's do these in order. Check this out. Oh my okay, no, I'm gonna do this one first. <laughs> this one is a lower grade one. Okay. This is check this out. Let me make sure I got this frame right and I'll tell you what the info is. Look at this. Stories of romance for richer or poorer. Okay. Stories of romance. Now stories of romance this is what the seller said right uh stories of romance number five he graded this at 1.0 water stain cover detached staple rust uh staple rust however matt baker art matt baker this is the main reason and another reason but matt baker artwork in this comic right I don't have any Matt Baker romance comics and it's something I've been trying to get my hands on and Matt Baker was the first uh, black American superstar in the comic book medium that started doing comic books right his work is sought after up the yin yang like there people are paying mint money for Matt Baker art now this isn't Matt Baker uh, cover okay let me tell you who this is this is vince coletta did the cover for this okay which is fantastic vince coletta is huge let me read you what my comic shop has for this okay first issue of the series possibly continued from meet meet miss bliss the stories jilted uh, art by john uh, Tartan Tartanglion The Richer or Poor Art by J. Scott Pike Blind Date Art by John Romita Sr. Secret Love Art by Matt Baker and they have a question mark beside it. So it's assumed that the artwork is by Matt Baker. And my comic shop is pretty good. Okay. I haven't found confirmation. The Grand Comic Book Database doesn't have the information. Okay. So Matt Baker, there's a couple of more stories. Um, stay away from my man, okay? And two-page text story, love that matter, love that man, and Vince Coletta cover, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. Lark, how are you doing? How are you doing? And it does... Chicho and Nate, how are you doing? I just wanted to let you know I aced my driving test this time. Nice. Thanks again for your words of wisdom and the ASMR to calm me down. Awesome. Hey, Elder God says. And this one for sure. It's got. No, I'm not going to take it out of the bag, but it's not going to focus. But it's got a little bit of damage. Well, not a little bit, but it's very presentable. There's no chunks missing from the main page right he graded this as one i would not grade this as one i would have graded this as higher okay i would have definitely graded this as higher not a one 
maybe a two, right? For me, it's really important. But he said he does say the cover is detached. So when the cover detaches, the grade does come down a lot, which is, to me is crazy how much the, they kick down the grade for the cover being detached. I think one of the reasons is sometimes the original cover was not from that comic book, it's from a different, different issue that they put together possibly, right? Mark would, might know better about this or Ripper, right? It's so pretty. It's so pretty, right? Mr. Top Ramen. <laughs> nice. Let me show you the third one. Check this out. The rust nails could be really messing up the uh, middle pages too. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be. But it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I'm very happy to have it. Matt Baker artwork. Can't beat it can't beat it what up chicho saucy rossi how you doing got that comic book goodness very nice looking book though very nice looking very nice looking let me show you the third one in this look at this look at this look at this <coughs> this one he graded at three okay and it's love romances number 83 okay now when he listed this he highlighted that stories of romance number five the last one i showed you was matt baker artwork right <clears throat> let me tell you who's in this guy who did the cover of this and whose artwork is in this about to walk into my local comic shop be back in a bit mark you're gonna miss a good one Ripper says, Chicho, I don't like when the grade is kicked down that much, especially since it's technically a complete book. Yeah, Asian condition should override over detach, in my opinion. Yeah, it's I think it's wacko. I love the plastic uh, wrapper. Yeah, Mylar wrappers. And the guy put them in Mylar. This is a great seller. I'm going to try to see what else the, the guy's got and uh, try to grab some books from him. Right? Really packaged beautifully. Uh, graded lowballing the grades as far as i'm concerned check this out cover by jack kirby and chris rule edited by stan lee stories by unknown art by matt baker j scott pike joe sinat john severn vince coletta and unknown right can a girl like her ever find true love read don't try to blame me don't try to tame me featuring can't you see i love you give back my heart i search for romance and now don't let me be an old maid plus two page text story two of a kind fantastic we got jack kirby cover Matt Baker art, Joe Sinat art, J Scott, uh, J Scott's bike. I don't know. Did I look this up? J Scott's bike. Uh, I did look it up. Um, John Severn artwork, right? And there's actually there's two stories, two stories by Matt Baker, right? Two of the art, two of the. Uh, stories the art was was done by Matt Baker fantastic fantastic three graded at three would I grade this at three I would grade this higher just from the cover and what does this say my darling you've got here let me see if I can read it while I'm holding it up Oh my god, I'm drooling right now. Nice. Don't try to tame me, Ripper says. Story of my life. Wow. There's some top tier industry people. Huge Ripper. This one blew me away. This one blew me away. I was actually expecting this to go a lot higher. Really. I was expecting this to go a lot higher. Hello, Twitching Jason. How are you doing? Danite, how's life? Check this out. I can't read it 
when I'm holding it like this, you guys can read it. Oh, yeah, I can read it right now. My darling, you've got to listen. You've got to believe me. He means nothing to me. It's you I love. Only you. Please, please believe me. What does he say? I should have known better than to trust you, but I won't make the same mistake twice. Can a girl like me ever find the love? Read, don't try to tame me. Now, get out of my way, he says. Awesome. What does a 10 look like? A 10 pretty much looks like a 9.6, depending on who grades it. <laughs> or 9.8 depending on who grades it right that's my take on what tens are okay she is two timing them. she is indeed i think and look at this beautiful cover by jack kirby look, look at this seriously jack kirby romance comic right awesome very happy to have this very happy to have this So we ended up picking up two comic books with Matt Baker. One of them, Jack Kirby cover. Jack Kirby cover. Awesome. We're very happy about this. Let me put these guys over here. Okay. So what do we got in order of going up? Now, most of these books are modern age okay for those of us who aren't very familiar with comics could you elaborate on the grading scale the grading scale here let me give you a page where you can see the grading um, hopefully i have it here bop, bop, bop. there we go here's the grading scale it goes from no grade to 10 okay and here is uh here's a page from my comic shop that gives you the lowdown on it and basically uh, a 10 is a perfect comic book like it won't even have like like fingerprints on it i don't know like it'll have fingerprints on it someone has to have picked it up at least right but basically certain types of dings and rips and certain things kick the grade down right so if there's a lot of flaws on it there's you have a sheet they say oh it has these dings on it a rip more than two inches kicks it down this many notches and this many notches this many notches there's some things that really kick it down a lot right like detached cover kicks it down a lot if the comic is not complete they say not complete is way down right if it doesn't have a cover it's way down right so there's different things used to grade comic books right twitching jason my entire comic collection consists of literally three comics i picked up in vegas last summer I still haven't even read them read them well maybe don't read them if you can't afford to buy comics because if you read them you love them you might start collecting and it's very dangerous collecting cgc created the entire system they dictate tens when they aren't any on the secondary market to excite people to use their service in hopes of getting that white whale yeah it's a business but like chicho said a 9.6 9.8 is a 10 yeah to me as well it literally is a 10 right thanks chicho and folks my pleasure my pleasure it chancel if light touches it it becomes an eight <laughs> let me show you bronze age check this out and then the rest of the books are all modern age let me show you the bronze age now the seller i was buying this from also had issue number one but issue number one went higher than what i was willing to pay for it okay it went higher than what i was willing to pay for it oh yeah i know about those dangerous collection addictions yeah is there a detective comics 27 grade 10 <laughs> no if there was you could you could you could buy a few different houses with it right so and it would be huge it'd be it'd be going for millions i think like huge let me show you these other books let me open up the tab for them and go to my 
uh, eBay page and tell you what we ended up picking these books for. Okay. They're Black Goliath, issue number two to five. Let me make sure I'm framing this properly. Rendell, how are you doing? Black Goliath, issue number two to five. And the guy had issue number one. And it just went too high for me right and man it would have been sweet to get because this is this is all the five issues in the in the series i believe it should be anyway let me just make sure uh i think it only runs five issues black goliath yeah it should only run five is it is a five issue set series that came out right Now, what did we end up paying for these? What did we end up paying for this? Let me show you one at a time. That way we can appreciate the covers, right? This is Black Life number two. Black Life number two, graded at very fine, ended up paying 325 Canadian. Okay. And 325 Canadian, let me tell you what that is in US dollars. Boop. In US is 242. Okay. So 325 graded at very fine, which is, you know, it's a good price. <laughs> 240, 240 US. Okay. And this work is the the cover is by Rich Buckler. Okay. And the inks by the pencils by Rich Buckler and the inks by Frank. Gioshani, Gio Gioshoni. Okay, the script is by Chris, Chris Claremont. I didn't realize that Chris Claremont didn't write the script for the first issue. The first issue, the script was written by Tony Isabella, and he created Black Goliath. Okay, so issue number one, the writer for it was the creator of Black Goliath, which is uh, Tony Isabella. Okay, and then from issue number two to number five is Chris Claremont writing it. And Chris Claremont is legendary from the X-Men, uh, from the X books, right? And the pencils is by George Tusca, which we talked about. And the inks by Vince Coletta. So fantastic for $2.40, seriously. Like what, right? At very fine condition. It's basically half the price of what modern age books are going for. Fantastic. Very happy to have this. Very happy to have this. A issue number one went for $16, $16, dollars Canadian, which comes out to like $13 US. If I had extra cash, I would have bought it. I would have a bit higher, right? But if I'm getting issue number two for $240, issue number one for $13 is above my budget and i was lowballing when i was buying these things there was a whole bunch of books that this guy had that i wanted to get my hands on right so i was lowballing trying to get on the cheap cheap right ripper issue number ones are always great to get but like your valiant stream a few years ago showed issue number two always has a big drop in print runs and can be worth more sometimes yeah and by the way gang if you're collecting comic books keep this in mind in a lot of series in a lot of series it's it's weird i don't know why this is the case issue number three four tend to have important first appearances or t or tend to be sought after in a big way okay and this occurs throughout the comic book medium throughout history in comic books for some reason Issue number four is the one that I've noticed that has huge people looking at looking for it. it it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know why that is the case. Okay. Maybe it takes that long to build up the characters and then the story kicks into high gear with issue number four. Okay. Do you have any Green Hornet or Shadow comic books? I do have, I believe I have Green Hornet. Um Will Eisner's Will Eisner's uh, Shadow is Will Eisner is not it should be Will Eisner. 
I don't believe um, I have any original Shadow comics. I have some of the later stories that came on. Great deal uh, and on an underrated uh, series. A great deal on an underrated series, right? This is Black Life number three. Okay. Let me bring it in so you guys can see it. Black Life number three. Okay. Again, the story by Chris Claremont, right? And graded at, uh, what was it graded at? Graded at very fine. All of these books were graded very fine. Number five was fine, very fine, right? So issue two, three, and four were graded very fine. Number five, fine, very fine. Okay. Ended up paying three twenty-five for this as well. Again, the story is... Uh, the cover it says larry lieber with retouches by john romita okay the story again by chris claremont george tusca okay great buy great buy fantastic buy we are seeing that right now huge with venom number three and four huge with venom number three and four and by the way when i was selling my comic books venom number uh, four i sold for like sixty dollars canadian right sixty or eighty dollars canadian where the guy tried to scam me and he, you know ebay said no he has to pay it and issue number three i sold for ten dollars canadian right right now venom issue number four is going for over two hundred dollars us i should have held off on selling it issue number three is going to at least over 50 60 70 dollars us now right i should have held on on selling that as well right so the two people that ended up buying those two books from me that i sold a few months ago are going right on right check out number four absurdicon hey chicho uh mostly listening in today hope everyone is well ever read anything by ed brubaker yeah for sure and sean phillips sean phillips i don't know the name doesn't ring about but ed brubaker for sure i own series called fatal yeah i have some of the original uh, fatal issues and i just finished another run called the fade out i haven't read fade out uh both are excellent the artwork is beautiful done and writing is fine yeah ed brubaker is fantastic by the way ripper i think one and twos are guaranteed by buys being jumped on point three and fours are harder to sell so maybe they throw the first appearance into entice sales ah possibly very good point ripper very good point and one of the reasons might be as well that threes and fours go for a fair bit is because they are lower print run i have spider-man issue number one with no front and back cover i ripped it when i was thinking <laughs> no mr top ramen it's still worth a fair bit you had venom number four yeah i sold it i have venom number four on my ebay page right now right on ripper two hundred dollars yeah uh, don't worry i have a couple extra copies that i will be selling at some point this is black life number four graded at very fine i paid a little bit more for this okay i paid 550 canadian for this one okay do you want to know why do you want to know why i was going to pay more for this it's four dollars basically us the cover jack kirby jack kirby cover awesome awesome this is a jack kirby cover gang on black life number four i had no idea kirby did black life cover right fantastic and issue number four again right going for a higher price and chris claremont um wrote the story and rick buckler and don heck did the artwork for this okay fantastic issue number five of black life graded at fine very fine paid 325 for this as well okay and the cover is gil kane gil kane very nice very nice and story by chris claremont and keith poland nice buy i liked it i liked it hello and thank you for making comic content here in twitch my pleasure dip 2020 and thank you for popping in so that was good todd mcfarland such a genius i love his toy collection yeah he did fantastic with the toy stuff like really uh, he 
I remember the interview when I heard of him back in the early 90s when he was going, uh, when he started doing the uh, toy line. I didn't know Kirby did it either, but easy to see now. Kirby and Claremont, very interesting combo, very interesting combo. Really, how many Kirby Claremont issues are there? I don't know. I really don't know. But fantastic. Should we go into the modern age? Let me show you the modern age. I'm going to I'm going to show you a full run of things, almost a full run of one series that I picked up as an independent. But let me show you the individuals right now. The the ones that are randoms. Let me show you Batman first. Okay. Now I don't have the I know it's sought after and I missed the boat on it because I wasn't buying comics during that period. But I missed the boat on Batman Hush story arc. Okay. So I ended up picking picking up. Let me show you. And all of these I paid 375 Canadian and they're graded at near mint minus or very fine. Here I'll, I'll tell you what these are. So this is Batman 610. Okay it's here let me open up the pages boom batman 610 and it's jim lee artwork okay the cover should be jim lee let me just confirm that uh, the cover is jim lee let me make sure this is framed so you can see it so cover is jim lee okay uh the story is jeff loeb and the artwork inside is jim lee and this is the hush batman hush part three story arc that i graded at near mint minus ended up paying 375 canadian which is uh, 280 us which is a good price right i don't have the story arc so you know if i could get it on a cheap slowly build it up right ripper is this a Jim Lee run? Yeah, this is the Jim Lee run. And it's a good price. I got it at a pretty good price. Once love more, um, once love more that cover of Black Goliath and Jack Kirby cover. Yeah. You want to see the cover of the Jack Kirby one again? What's up, Chicho and Chat? Felix, how are you doing? Jim Lee artwork. Yeah. Right. So that's pretty good. Let me show you the cover of the Jack Kirby one again. If there's a request for it, let's do it gladly. Here's the cover of Jack Kirby, right? Classic Jack Kirby. Look at that. Classic Jack Kirby. Boom. Boom. Goliath is flying into the into the out of the page, right? Kirby was known for this. His his artwork flying out of the page. Boom. In your face. Right? Fantastic. The stilt man nice so batman 610 batman 611 okay again it's jim lee and jeff loeb okay. and this one is graded at very fine and ended up paying 375 canadian 380 us for this okay and it's a good price it's a good price nice cover and this one is beautiful I love this one yeah. Batman 613 graded at near mint minus and it's chapter 6 of the hush story arc okay and it's graded at uh, mint near mint minus the cover puts my ex-wife to shame <laughs> absolutely jack kirby is the best jack kirby is the best i love jack kirby just his imagination right ripper completely off topic but our plant friend behind you seems to be a trade paperback fan as he's growing further towards them oh this guy <laughs> 
<laughs> it is. I usually adjust this. This thing's usually pointing in the other way. I bring it in because I, I love this plant. And this plant is extending so much. Twice we've opened up the window and the wind has blown it over and it's fallen down. Right? It's broken. So I put it in the heavier pot, put a rock on top. Hopefully it stays there. I got to solidify it a little bit more. And by the way, DC Comics did a $1 reprint of this issue recently. And I ended up reading it. It wasn't bad. The artwork was fantastic, obviously, right? What a brilliant team. What a brilliant team. Ripper. I'm a sucker for Batman covers containing he and Catwoman. Oh, this one's a good one. Top fiver. How's life? Hope you're doing well. I think that there's more to plants than we think. I've read about people saying music, um, playing music to them and them growing more pretty interesting. Yeah. And talk to plants. I talk to my plants. Batman Hush. I haven't read it. Tell you the truth. Like, I haven't read Batman Hush yet. Crazy, eh? I know, I know. It makes me wish I had made the call to collect individual issues rather than solely trade packs, trade paper packs, and attempt to be more frugal. Uh, Skyhawk or Shite, shite Hawk. Uh, collecting trades is okay. Some trades go for a fair price, right? But individuals. Is, is the way to go as far as I'm concerned I have trades obviously right I like trades but if you have the space and the money and the time and the patience right my mother would talk to her plants too yeah yeah check out this one this one is Wonder Woman number Wonder Woman number 40 I believe where's the issue number on this Wonder Woman number 40. It's a movie sort of variant cover. And da -da 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 -da. I ended up paying 526 Canadian for this, graded at very fine plus. Okay. And US terms comes out to boop. Comes out to basically $4 US. Let me make sure I got this. So this is a, a sort of a cover of uh, 300, right? And this is uh, Wonder Woman number 40 from nine, uh, from 2015. And Bill Szygzinski uh, <laughs> uh, work on it, right? So let me bring out the Wonder Woman. Boop. Okay. Hey, where'd it go? There it is. So this is the cover. Let me read this. Movie poster variant edition. Bill S Sankinski, Warren Torn, Part Five of Five, written by Meredith Finch, art by David Finch. It's the, and then you go into the story of it, right? So it was a good price, four dollars. This thing goes for higher. I just wanted to put a bid on this and get it, right? Check out this one. This one we got at a pretty good price. This one we got at a great price. Let me first open up the book for it, the page for it. Boop. Oh, it goes over there. Oh, bugger. Okay. Let me grab it because the page disappeared. Boop. Let me tell you what this is all about. This is a Marvel DC crossover. Avengers Justice League number four. Beautiful copy. Mint plus, right? Ended up paying, let me make sure this is framed properly. Check this out. It's a prestige edition, so it's a heavier stock, right? It's thicker, right? Take a look. It's a thick, right? Ended up paying 1550 Canadian for it. And it's a mint condition. Mint condition. And it ends up being 1150 US. Okay. And Written by Kirk uh, Busick, art and cover by George Perez. And if you check this out, check it out, check it out. You got Superman holding Thor's hammer and Captain America's shield. Very cool, very cool. I, I don't have anything like this in my collection, right? I really don't even know if Marvel and DC have done crossovers before. Uh, this one is from 2000 and 
2004 and i think they did a crossover in the mid 19 or early 1990s as well right but i don't think i've ever seen superman holding thor's hammer and captain america's shield right i found those crossovers so awful that they came all the way around to be enjoyable again did they i haven't read them blasphemy beanie hipster beanie hipster <laughs> comic book collector comic book collector comic book investor comic book investor understand personal finance do not invest in the status quo look for alternative ways to invest i joke that's actually a beautiful image it is indeed a beautiful image right fantastic i haven't read these uh, i don't have the run this is four of four so it was the last issue of the series they did the crossover into um amalgam comics do you do you, do you own the amalgam crossover books and just haven't read them or do you not own them i don't think i own them i don't think i own them uh, ripper the 90s crossovers had a dead where the two company had a debt to swap daredevil and catwoman for a year but uh but something shady went on and it ended up not happening yeah they, you, you can't trust the two big companies you can't do it <laughs> they're scammers so awesome superman holding captain america shield and thor's hammer like there you go i'm pretty sure that's the only cover of his kind right deal not that yeah i assume you meant deal fat fingers <laughs> awesome now let me show you what else we got let me show you what else we got the rest of this all of it is all of it is oh the cgc don't let me forget about the cgc i gotta show you guys the cgc one man i almost forgot about showing you guys the cgc would you say you read lots of com comic books or some are just purely for collection purposes i read as much as i can slick mick uh, i eat a lot of comic books like i have comic books laying around in two bedrooms uh comic books in in the living room just hanging around if just sit back and read a few pages right i i love comic books man uh, there are books that i i collect specifically for the collecting part of it but i would love to read them as well it's just making the time ding bob or chicho my friend is in his 25th year and today is eid yeah i don't know what eid stands for uh he would be sacrificing a goat but it is illegal in canada oh aid is that what you mean instead of butcher is doing it a third goes for to charity a third to family a third to him he is from pack ah that's cool man that's uh their, their celebration that's cool that super cover that soups cover is more beautiful than my uh 2.64 gpa 2.64 what would superman do if he had a i can't i can never pronounce it of thor's hammer majolner majolner i can never do it what would we do i don't know i don't think superman needs thor's hammer but he could definitely do some serious damage with it what do you do for uh living chicho i teach mathematics muslim holiday aid i think eid or aid aid is a new year me Jolnir is how I pronounce it ding bobber I, I teach mathematics privately and in group sessions and stuff uh, how do you feel about comic purchasing speculation I collect runs featuring taskmaster master and as soon as he popped up in the trailer for black widow the price went through the roof Marvel are quite obvious uh, when they are bringing a character uh to the front per movie so something i could do but it feels a little there no it's uh, hawk look man 
This is a debate that has been happening in the comic book medium for ages. There are people going, oh, the speculators are bad. Okay, why? Because they buy up books and they resell them. Okay, why is that bad if they think that something is going to increase in value? So they're buying it. If they're hoarding, if they're damaging books, like there are people, really, I've seen this. Some I've seen some people go in a comic book store, and when the comic books are laying on the on the racks, they sit there and they run their fingers through. They bend the comics. Those people I would hang upside down for ten hours. Right? What a scumbags! Right? They get their cup and they do this. Man, I don't like those kinds of people. Right? Those kinds of people are bad. Right? But if someone goes out and goes hey there's a first appearance here buys a copy for their collection and buys like two or three extra copies because he knows or he speculates that the price is going to go up and maybe he could sell them get more money to buy more books i see no problem with that because i do it right like venom number four i bought five copies when it came out okay i sold one for whatever it was 60 or 80 dollars I wish I didn't sell that one because right now, and that was Canadian, so that's like fifty dollars U.S. Right? Right now, that book is going for over two hundred dollars U.S. Right? I'm gonna sell one or two more. That gives me money to be able to buy more comics. Right? I see no problems. With it. Don't let anybody say it's a dirty thing to do. Okay? Really? Tell them, hey, do they buy a house? Why did they buy a house to live in? Sure. But are they trying to get a good deal? Or are they going to sell it when the price goes up? That's dirty. No, that's our current economic model. I think Majornir is pronounced Mu Yul you, Nir. Mu Yul Nir. T0202. Hello. What's your opinion on trans? No, oh, dude, we're talking comic books. Uh, I do that in all comic book stores transgender what i do that extra time just for you t you're a bit old to be reading t t o two if you think if you think oh, i'm just gonna ban you man boop if you think reading comic books is an age-related thing you must be a dingling <laughs> like seriously <laughs> have you never read a comic book in your life man depressing how depressing how depressing central yeah oh, huge huge not just ban them now it's it's the central seriously one of the one of the reasons you see certain types of trolls that they come out these types of trolls like that's such a weak troll like such a weak ass troll right and that kind of troll is a 100 percent product of our centralized education system because that kind of troll has been spoon-fed garbage so the only thing they can do is spew out garbage right they haven't had a they haven't had a second of independent critical thought in them right they they're trying to entertain themselves unfortunately and they're trash talking comic books get out of my life <laughs> i collect magic the gathering cards and people in that community say the exact same thing collectors speculators are bad it's ridiculous it just seems like a common complaint in a lot of hobby communities which is insane right we're, we're so they're saying oh you should only be allowed to buy comic books or whatever you're collecting if you've been paid wages so you're not allowed to sell any of your collection to raise money to be able to fund your hobby insanity right you can you can become a avid collector right by buying selling buying more and you slowly build up your inventory that's what every art collector does that's what every art collector does they buy art collectors picasso collector van gogh collector all of them they buy something it goes up in value 
and they see better deals somewhere else they can get more bang for their money right instead of sitting on this so they liquidate this and buy five other things that if two of them go up the same way this one went up they doubled their money it's called return on investment chicho i sense troll energy yeah took care of it brother sorry had to mute for a bit did i miss the troll no i just i took care of him <laughs> you're a great guy <laughs> forgive them chicho they don't know what they are doing yeah they don't unfortunate I, I and unfortunately i'm not tutoring them they should be popping into our math streams when we start them up again to get a little bit of education to be able to know what it means to invest let's go back to comics books gang anyone that thinks comics are for kids should read daredevil born again very nice book very nice book read read joe sacco's days of destruction days of revolt read savage sword of conan my god should we get back into comics let me show you these guys man let me show you these guys next set of comics is a full run i'll show you the cgc at the end okay almost a full run this is let me open up my tab on it and let me tell you what's going on let me tell you what's going on Boop. this is palookaville okay by seth and seth is gregory gallant okay and this is an independent series palookaville that came out in the early 1990s the first issue was published in 1991 and he continues to put out the books right and I bought a whole bunch of these okay now the guy had the seller had issue number one I the seller had issue number one right first print and it went for a lot higher than I, what I was willing to pay for it right because I was trying to get my hands on as many as I could at a good deal there's nothing wrong in doing it but I was able to get my hands on Palookaville okay let me make sure you can see this in the frame right this is the second print of palookaville okay this guy is sort of along the same lines i've now this stuff was coming out when i was buying comic books right and i read a little bit of this i don't i might have an issue in my back catalog and stuff but i found it depressing at the time i was more into superhero comics and these types of things and this was more indie but it was more just life stories of people and stuff like this right so i wasn't really into it i found a lot of independents that weren't superhero based the life story ones to be a little bit too depressing for me right trade man how are you doing hello me and my wife boyfriend is watching your stream good luck thanks <laughs> and welcome to our stream so this is uh by Seth Palookaville, and it's basically life story, sort of along the same lines of uh, Will Eisner's type of work, I believe, anyway, from what I remember. Okay, and these things are sought after. Now, this is the second print that came out by, and all the Palookavilles came out by Drawn, Drawn, and Quarterly. Okay, now the first issue, the first print of this was put out in 1991. This is the second print that came out in 1994 right ended up paying 425 for this and 425 which is comes out to let me give you the us price for this us price is 316 us right so three dollars us and is graded at very fine which is a good price right so here's issue number one let me show you the rest issue number one and i actually can't find the second print of this on my comic shop right so i don't know how many issues they print here's issue number two and all of these i paid anywhere between 525 to uh 425 all the way up to issue number 16 17 okay 16 and 17 i paid 850 a pop because they're much rarer to find okay this is issue number two first print and all of these are graded near mint near mint near mint minus near mint minus near mint minus near mint minus so number two to number 
da 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 number nine are graded at near mint minus and then number 13 15 and 16 are graded at near mint and 17 is graded at near mint as well same with the Clyde fans which was a reprint of number 10 and 12 okay he didn't put these out frequently they're infrequent sometimes it was months between issues and we're in 2020 right now and issue number one came out in 1991 in 2020 i think he's working on issue number 22 okay so sometimes there's a year break two year break between each, each issues okay and the artist for this is a canadian artist he goes by the pen name uh seth okay and it's gregory glant and he's known for being sort of eccentric and he does a lot of uh, sort of art style that is more in the 1970s type of feel and I really wanted to get my hands on this series, okay, just because I passed it up when it was coming out in the 1990s. I do think that there is a level of untruth with comic speculation, uh, speculation people. I worked in the rare book and rare art industry for years. You would meet people with what seemed to be a passion for literature or art, and in reality, you learned that they were just trying to flip things for profit yeah, there that also exists in the comic book industry as well big time i'm not judging obviously i'm just saying some people might get turned off by this for sure and there are people like that and there are comic book stores that this was number two here's number three okay beautiful covers by the way and there are like comic book stores that do that as well right so you should find yourself a nice comic book store where the 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 people that work there care about comic books they read comic books they want to make sure you come back and they they give you a heads up on what's coming up and they reserve things for you i have a question why does your wife have a boyfriend? my wife and boyfriend i didn't even catch that <laughs> mr top raymond thanks for catching that i totally missed that the eddie g chicho who do you say does that art this is seth s-e-t-h and his, his real name or official name is gregory gallant okay here's his uh, wiki page for comic books Boop. okay so you can find the info there i got these at a really good price really good price number issue number one went into the i think it, it went up into the 20s or 30s that i passed on issue number 19 he had as well but number 19 for went for like 65 dollars or something issue number 18 17 18 and 19 even though i got 17 at a really good price they go for premium prices like issue number 19 that i was bidding on my highest bid was like 20 dollars or something it went for like 65 dollars right this is issue number three here's issue number four fantastic like really i almost got a complete run i almost got a complete run every industry interest will have people trying to profit off of it not always a bad thing though not always a bad thing it feeds the industry it feeds the industry like what i do with my finances i buy a lot of comic books man palooka will number five right okay. beautiful covers palooka will number seven number six i wish i grabbed number six i wish i increased my bid on number six but i was trying to get my hands on the number 18 and 19. Uh, I was increasing my bid. Number six went for like eight dollars or something, right? So I was lowballing these. Ended up getting these for like eight dollars Canadian, right? So I ended up getting these for like four twenty-five, I think. Number seven. How much did I pay for number seven? I ended up paying. Boop. Number seven. Yeah, four twenty-five Canadian, right? Great price. Great price. If there's any indie people out there, they're gonna they're gonna love this, right? Here's issue number eight. 
beautiful and they're phenomenal condition right mint near mint near mint near uh, near mint near mint minus here's number nine and he's known for his artwork that is very 40s 1940s 50s um uh, sort of uh, cartoonish style for magazines and stuff right the guy that has done work for uh jimmy cricket um he's done work for new york times new york post he's done design work and stuff very eccentric he walks around with old school 1950s suit and a hat that was number nine here's number 13. okay beautiful beautiful design really it's a beautiful design right whenever I hear any word ending in Ville I get the song Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett stuck in my head <laughs> wasting away in Palookaville and I had to look up the definition of Palookaville. Palookaville is like nowhere land, right? This is number 15. Owl. This is number 16. Okay. This one ended up paying 850 Canadian for it. Supposedly the print runs on these later issues are pretty low. Maybe I'll bring some Jimmy Buffett lyrics to the music lyrics stream. Why not? Why not? Right. So this was 850 Canadian. Okay. This is issue number 17 beautiful absolutely beautiful okay again 850 canadian okay. yet another continuation of clyde fans and it's basically life stories really in a small town from what i understand anyway and here is a sort of a reprint i believe it's a reprint of palookaville this is Clyde uh, Clyde fans part one this is a story of the reprint of the Clyde and these two brothers I believe of uh, Palookaville number 10 11 and 10 to 14 maybe right and again I paid like 425 for this one as well okay. when I got into comic books in 1990s comic books were somewhat hard to find obviously the internet wasn't much of a market place and comics were sold in resale shops and graphic novels just weren't a thing i love graphic novels but because comics were somewhat hard to find i prefer the shorter comics which do you prefer comics or graph it, it really depends i love the stream i love the stream <laughs> i'm glad you're liking it uh it really depends i do read graphic novels obviously and i buy certain graphic novels that i end up reading um i like individual comic books for the feel of the comic book that i read for the collectability of it because they are collectibles okay they're human artifacts because they don't they're not compilations that are printed after the fact you see what's happening at the time so it's politically economically relevant socially relevant so that's a huge part for me okay um but i like both if there's a story arc it's good to read in one volume or you read the individuals if you're reading as they're coming out and there's something to be said when you're following a story as they're coming out right i love those i wish i could sub it's okay just following is good brother i'm a fan of graphic novels personally but don't have enough space for a big collection of either yeah i'm gonna sub tonight <laughs> thanks those cgc signed nice <laughs> let's crack it open
Let's crack it open. Nice, nice bubbles. In there. Check this out. Nicely wrapped. Fantastic. Coolio gifted tier one sub to I love cute girl toes. Thank you for the gift. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the gift, Coolio. Merry Christmas, he says. <laughs> Crazy bro Athens, how are you doing? Let's crack this open. Yes. Lots of wrapping in it. Look at that. Nice. And it's it's not CGC, sorry. CBCS. And it's my first CBCS book. Check it out. Jupiter's Legacy. Jupiter's Legacy. And it's signed uh, First Appearance of Brainwave, Utopia, Lady Liberty, Brandon uh, Sampos, and Chloe, Chloe Sampson. Covered by Dave Johnson. And it's signed by Dave Johnson okay in 2017 art by um so covers by dave johnson art by frank quietly and he did all-star superman and whatnot and the story is by mark miller which is pretty huge here's the back cover right and here's the front cover let me tell you what we got this for we got this at a great deal i thought i accidentally pressed it but wow thank you man uh, you didn't have to do much appreciate it uh, toast says let me tell you how much we ended up paying for this baby uh, where is this this is further down there it is we ended up check this out uh, da -da -da. Uh, order details there it is ended up buying the book okay for $25 US okay cgc graded at 9.8 signed for five uh 25 dollars us okay which is a great price the shipping kicked it up a bit okay doubled it almost the shipping was 20 dollars right so we ended up paying 45 dollars us for this which is around 60 dollars canadian okay cgc graded 9.8 first issue variant cover signed for 45 dollars us pretty good price okay and this there's a signature there uh, not cgc cbcs cbcs okay these guys here check it out cbcs and they're just as legit as cgc okay uh p c x p x y or whatever it is i wouldn't buy but these guys i would they're just as legit as cgc they're uh, it was one of the people that started cgc that actually formed this company breakaway company so it's the alternative right great highly recommend right uh i wish well cgc has been around longer right there's less of these guys around right but they have good rep in the industry ripper says awesome in 20 years this book will be worth 20 times the price you paid now uh in fiat currency yes and that's the key right you're you're you can't keep your money uh is the gym shooter valiant <laughs> nice comparison ripper nice comparison right so that's fantastic that's fantastic and this series has been optioned right i don't know if it's going to be i don't know who optioned it was it netflix that optioned it or amazon that optioned it i, I don't know what's going to happen with the this whole pandemic thing going around if they're gonna for sure release this stuff but it's supposed to be coming out as a tv series right so that's one of the reasons I ended up grabbing this as well, right? Can't go wrong with it to a certain degree, right? Great. I think this is my first signed uh, slapped book. 
You're a very smart man, Jicho. Crazy Bro Athens, respect to you to share this wisdom with us. I just share what I love, brother. Crazy Bro Athens. Google search says Netflix. So Netflix series, fantastic. It's a goodbye. <laughs> it was a goodbye. He actually, the guy, check this out. The guy had two of, there's variant covers for this. There's one variant cover I was really wanting to get. It's a girl, one of the characters. I haven't read this series. One of the characters lounging back. And it was a beautiful cover. He had this graded in 9.8 signed. And he had another one graded at 9.8 signed. Starting price was $25, right? So I sent him an offer. He had starting price at 25 and it kicked up from there, right? So, but he had a make offer. So I made him an offer. I went, okay, he's got a made offer. I made, made him offer $20, right? He came back with 40 for each one, right? And I went, okay, how much will shipping be for both of them? And he said it was going to be whatever it was going to be. I forget what it was, $25 or something, right? And I thought about it for a few hours, for a day. And then he took the other cover off that wasn't signed at 9.8. He didn't make it available anymore i was like what <laughs> i was gonna take the offer and then he took it off and then i didn't take the offer for this one because he said 40 and at the last second before this was over i put a bit of 25 or 26 dollars or something and i won it for 25. so that's how i ended up getting this one ripper uh key collector app says netflix as of november 2019 okay cool Mr. Nambion, not to be off topic, but you mentioned you teach mathematics. Fun fact, it took me six semesters to pass college algebra, two degrees in history, but I hate Pythagoras so much. Oh, don't use the word hate. The only reason you might have grown to hate it is because you weren't taught it properly, right? It's like the other. Don't let centralized power, centralized education system make you hate something as powerful as mathematics. Just like don't let centralized governments, centralized authority hate, hate, make you hate someone across the globe that you don't understand, right? Mathematics is on the same level our education system, unfortunately. There's been a 700% increase in sales of this series after Mark Miller just announced that filming has wrapped. He just announced it. When did he announce it, Ripper? Math will have will never be off topic for Jicho. Yeah, it will never be off topic. That's his life, his love, his passion. Agreed, agreed. And it is. Ezekiel, how are you doing? Pythagorean theorem is your friend. Yeah, uh, Ripper. When did Mark Miller just say they just wrapped a shooting? Was it just recently? fantastic i wish i bought the other one too i wish i bought the other one too but we'll do more comic book haul videos wink wink hint hint <laughs> that's super cool there's a 700 percent increase in sales damn by the way when the when that seller took off the other 9.8 cgc graded after he made me the offer he took it off right he relisted it at 120 dollars us january of this year okay january of this year i didn't know he he re-listed the other one for 120 so i wish i took his offer right away boom 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 i would have had another 9.8 cgc graded with the cover i i wanted elder god no worries deal with your crisis it's been a great stream it was a great stream i killed a, i killed a troll a weak troll fun gang should we call the stream thank you for being here Fun comic book haul. What I'm gonna do now is uh, put on my headphones, my MP3 player, and go for a walk and listen to the music that I'm going to read you lyrics of, the ones I picked uh, tonight. And I hope you're gonna come with lyrics of your own. I didn't either, as we were in the middle of World War Three in January. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't catch it at all. Don't forget the music lyric stream tonight, y'all. Yeah, don't forget it. 8 p.m. PDT. Any and all music lyrics welcome. Any and all music lyrics welcome. And I'll do my best to read them, to do them justice. I have 
I have a love, hate, revenge, revenge, redemption covered. <laughs> the masks. <laughs> That's fair. So happy I found the stream. Awesome. Glad to have you. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Okay. Gang, thanks for being here. I'll see you guys tonight. If you want to know who I am, what I'm doing, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com dot com slash chicho c h y c h o we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv slash chicho live c h y c h o l i v e if you want to participate in the chat as is happening twitch is where you want to be at okay and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs coolio thanks for gifting a sub to toes okay i do announce these live streams either 30 minutes before we go live for scheduled streams or a few minutes before we go live on unscheduled streams thanks for the comic stream my pleasure ripper my pleasure it was a fun stream i was waiting for the love comics romance comics to show up before doing this this one the cgc one has been sitting here for like a week now um we do upload a lot of discussion we have to soundcloud when i'm recording with a lapel mic which i'm not doing right now but we will be doing the one for tonight on soundcloud and we will be uploading this live stream to bitshoot and youtube and if you do have youtube uh, you are on youtube you can support this work through youtube membership and on bitshoot on youtube by liking sharing commenting and just being around uh sharing the love right nice shirt thanks it's black <laughs> gang i'll see you guys tonight in about i don't know how many hours nine hours i'll see you guys tonight okay come prepare let's read some lyrics bye everyone <laughs>